Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And this is the video that I do each DLC. If, there, if there's one video on my channel that you watch in regards to this DLC, uh, this is the one you wanted to make it. Uh, this is where I cover every little change, everything you need to know for Thursday, September 12th, when this DLC releases. So, and as usual, there's going to be timestamps in the comments, just like my guide videos, where you can skip right to that section about uh, vendor items, skill points, augments, uh, the OP back, because I haven't really talked about that yet. Um, every little topic that I touch in this video will be in that timestamp. So let's kind of get into it here. Okay, to so the main point uh, of this video that most people obviously are inquisitive about, because uh, I haven't really talked about it because we don't really know all that much, uh, but Dark Robin's Gift. Uh, this is the new OP Neck Collection Hybrid. Uh, so what we're used to before is that we do raids, get catalysts, and then we'd basically level up and fortify this until we got the OP back. Uh, now it's slightly different. So as you can see, it's still catalyst. So you see that the Joker Nanotoxin, uh, the source, collection, getting a reaction. So what they've done is, if we go to the feet menu, it is now a hybrid. So there's no more catalyst to drop in raids. It's back to collections. So basically, you open Dark Robin's Gift. That's the three star uh, for opening it. The final sealed collection. Uh, this is, don't worry about that. That's not tied to OP back. That is like that you know bounty mission where you get five marks of victory. So getting a reaction, that's what we just saw. So a diluted, you know, there's four collections to get. And then basically, once you break through that rank, you'll go this one probably. Because this is the vendor collection one, so we'll touch on that in a sec. So then, most likely, it's going to be a simple machine. Once again, another four collections. And then the final rank would be this one, where you have to get the uh, vendor collection, which we can kind of zoom back here. So I can see here how to destroy the multiverse. 375 dark metal coins. And that's a part of the... If we go back to our feats... The Dark uh, Schism Collection. So most likely that's the third one. It could be the second one. I don't know. Uh, no, no one knows. They haven't even showed a picture of the OP neck. We know it's the OP neck. We just don't know the stats. No, know nothing about it. But it's going to be three collections. So basically it's still 12 collections, like a normal uh, collection. They just kind of break it up. So basically once you complete the collection, you would get a catalyst. And then I'm not sure if the catalysts are tradable. No, cannot trade. So yeah, so the collections themselves would be tradable, but not the catalyst. So once you have a catalyst, then you would just fortify it into that, and then I'm assuming it's just going to be one catalyst each time. So upcoming rank bonuses, brute force, and surprise, so same thing. So it's three breakthroughs, three collections of four collections each. One collection is the vendor collection, which is 375 marks. And then after all that, we get the OP neck, and hopefully the stats and CR is worth it to justify going through all collections again. So I don't necessarily mind the change. I personally like the catalyst, how we're used to having Justice League Dark. The execution was a bit shitty at the beginning, but it got better. Now they're back to collections. I'm not always a fan of collections because there's a lot more RNG to it than what we're used to. So I would say this makes it more difficult because this whole catalyst thing is just a collection reward. Uh, so instead of having a complete collection reward, now you have to get four separate small ones to, to fortify it. So I guess it's to make you feel better that you're not missing like multiple pieces of the collection, but you're still essentially missing it. You can't complete, you can't get the OP neck without completing collections. So that's what it's all tied to still. So either way, we'll see how the system works. Obviously they're trying something new in terms of just, just collections. Then they went to just catalyst and now they're doing um, a hybrid one where it's technically an artifact fortify and then uh, completion collections. So that's the OP neck. And then obviously once I get it, I'll do a video on that. But right now they haven't been too receptive on test server about giving us anything or giving us any details, which is not surprising. Okay, so in terms of the vendor, uh, you're probably wondering what the set is. This is the War Metal set. Uh, this is the regular vendor set, the Merciless style. So if we go down to uh, the detective here, this is the Dystopian Atlantean set. And if you go to uh, Greg's, uh, this is the regular set, uh, War Metal. You'll see the discounted prices, that's because I already own the set. But uh, basically here, the War Metal, that's what I'm wearing. The uh, Dystopian Atlantean set, 
Um, I have the enhanced back, that's why it's kind of glowing. I have the enhanced hands, that's why it's kind of shiny. And I have the enhanced waist. Everything else like that, that's the dystopian Atlantean chest, you can't really tell. I'm not wearing the head style, that's the legs, feet, stuff like that. Uh, but that's what the enhanced style, that's the one that drops from the boxes at the end of raids. So that's the purple set, war metal. Uh, this one was the, uh, that's the vendor set. And then the elite set here. The enhanced war metal, so I've got probably got the head on here, might be able to see it. Uh, depends on my color schemes. Yeah, you can't really tell from here. Now uh, you can see a bit of the glow there on the back. So in terms of max CR, uh, taking into account that the elite gear is 247 CR and the regular set is 245 for the, all the jewelry pieces. That brings us to a CR most likely of 284. Now I say most likely is that we don't know what the OP neck is going to be. That's what the OP is, item is for this. That's what this is. I'll, I'll touch on that uh, later in the video. Uh, you, if you want to know right away, you can skip to the timestamp. But if the OP neck is CR 265, then max CR would be 285. It just depends. Uh, the, the, the CR multiplier is not that high on the neck, so it would take a huge CR jump. So if it was 20 CR higher, then we get CR 285. If not, it would be most likely be 284 would be max CR. Uh, and that's with the OP neck. Uh, in terms of when to open gear, uh, if you are CR 274, it'll open the greens and blues at max. So the greens and blues like you get from you know solo content, whatever you feel. If you're CR 274, that'll open at max CR which is 239 and 241. And then if you're CR 275, then it'll open the purples at max. It'll open these ones, uh, which is, uh, these ones are actually lower because you're, you're buying it. But if you get the purple drops from the raids, uh, those ones uh, will drop higher. Or will it, was it 240? Yeah. Yeah, they drop at 241. No, 243, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so greens are 239, blues are 241, purples are 243, the, the vendor set's 245, and the elite's 247. Each joke goes up by 2 CR. In terms of skill points, uh, another thing to remember is that all your trees go up by 10 skill points. Right now on live server, they'd be 235 per tree. Uh, now they're 245, so it's just remember to respec once you get um, the DLC comes out because you're going to be missing uh, 10 skill points in those trees. So in terms of the feats for this DLC, kind of get into that here. In terms of the style feats, there's no icon uh, theme styles. There is the iconic one. So if we jump down, that's going to be the War Metal set and the Dystopian Amazon set. Um, I don't know if there's a feat for the enhanced one. Yes, enhanced um, Dystopian Amazon and enhanced War Metal set as well. So there's four iconic styles. All the rest of the feats fall into Metal Part 1. So we can kind of get, I'll touch on some of these in terms of the feats. Uh, right now we have 11 three stars. We have 22 two stars. We have 12 one stars. Uh, so that's a grand total of 12.20 skill points. So you got 12 skill points, 12.20, uh, whatever. Uh, that's how many skill points are in this DLC, 12. That's a big chunk, a lot of stuff to do. And then in terms of elite only feats, there's five. Uh, so we've got Go Green, that's an Elite. Uh, we've got Absolute Metal, that's an Elite. Uh, we've got uh, Fire in the Hotel, an Elite. We've got Lightning Never Strikes Twice, an Elite. And we've got whack a Mortal, an Elite. Those are the only Elite-only feats. All the rest can be done in uh, Normal and Elite. I think a few ones can be done in like the Event Normal. Uh, I think I saw those somewhere around here, like Event and Normal as well. Just like all past DLCs. Okay, so the one of the changes I want to address here is Augments and Catalysts. Uh, we'll kind of touch on Catalysts first. So if you go to John Constantine, uh, all the Catalysts we're used to seeing right now on live server, like the whole inventory worth, those are all gone. Um, all the Catalysts have been converted and merged into these three. 
So denesium, quantum field energy, and paradox energy. So if you still have catalysts, uh, you can't use them anymore, but what you can do is you can consume them. Um, like, you know, you just right click on them or whatever uh, square button in, on the PS controller. Uh, that'll consume them and give you source marks. So basically then you give, you get the source marks and then you buy the ones you actually need. So it's, even though you have them in your inventory, they're not useless. Uh, you'll just be consumed for source marks and then you rebuy the ones that you actually need. That's why all those marketplace ones are missing uh, or all those packs are missing from the broker and the marketplace is because they didn't want everyone to buy a whole bunch of useless ones and have to trade them in later so they just took them away because they knew the change was coming so as an example we can just level an artifact here so you can kind of see it uh venom suspenser so right now instead of um i figured what this needed before but as you can see it's only two denesium there for 20 we'll just dump all this in And as the ranks kind of go, so then rank 40 would need two denesium and one quantum field energy. And rank 60 would need three, two, and one, one of the paradox. And then we need four, three, and two. Five, four, and three. All the comp uh, all the success changes stay the same as we kind of increase, so those don't change in terms of what you're used to. Six, five, and four. Seven, six, and five. And then eight, seven, and six at 160. This is what we're used to, and now we've got the brand new uh, rank 180 and 200. So we need 9, 8, and 7. That's for rank 180, and the success chance is 5%. So that's why you're pretty much a mandatory to have a seal completion. And then at rank 200, you need 10, 9, and 8, and the success chance is 3%. So once again, pretty much mandatory to spend the 5 bucks and get a seal completion because there's you're not breaking through that on your own. Uh, unless you have a whole stack worth of seal preservations left. Okay, and that's what, uh, that's what I was looking at to get the catalyst. So if you have any extra ones, you just consume them for source marks and buy the ones you need. So in terms of augments, so when you start the DLC, you're going to have this journal mission called Metal Resonator. So as you get the two boxes, these are the free ones. The other ones you have to buy for 10 marks of the 10 metal coins on the vendor. But you always get two free ones to start, so we'll just do these prec. Actually, no, I already have a DPS one, so let's just do a, t a tank one then. Actually, might as well do one of each, so you can see we'll do the healer one. So in terms of augments, uh, well, I already have the precision ones, or sorry, the might ones leveled. So basically, as normal, you get 3% might and power. If we go scroll down to the um, the tank one, 3% dom and health. The healer one's 3% resto and power, so that's all familiar with that first rank, just getting stats. The second rank is the looter, which basically gives you an extra loot choice, so one additional gear choice from bosses and metal part one tier content on duty missions. Uh, for each rank. So basically if you have two artifacts both with those looter ranks you'll get an extra two choices. And that's going to be the same if we go back to the tank one. Same. Either one's the same. So basically the next rank is called Heavy Metal. Uh, you get two basically. Heavy Metal and Deadly Shred for the for DPS. So basically harmonize with your allies to unleash the full power of metal. So it's similar. If you remember the first DLC with the spark weapons and how the more people in the group had spark weapons, the more they kind of fed off each other in terms of giving you abilities. It's the same thing here. So the more people in your group with uh, ranked up augments, you'll get more powers uh, between them depending on what artifact or what augment you have. So Deadly Shred, small chance to deal extra damage and metal part one content. Damage is increased for each nearby ally with heavy metal and for multiple ranks of Deadly Shred. So basically if you have both of them. So basically if anyone, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be DPS because the ranks are all the same. So if I go to the tank one, see heavy metal still there, the healer one heavy metal. So basically it doesn't matter if you have eight people in your group with rank uh, three augments, then each one you will have heavy metal increasing your uh, group damage. 
And for the tank one, same thing. So defense drumming, so small chance to absorb damage to yourself when using an ability. Metal part one content, damage absorb is increased for same each nearby ally. So same thing. If, so if everyone in the group has their augments ranked, obviously you have the increased damage absorption because of the tank one. The healer one, small chance to restore health to yourself and nearby allies with heavy metal. Uh, when using ability and metal content, healing is increased for multiple ranks and healing groove. So it's just that it's similar to the spark weapons. The more people have their augments ranked, the more benefits and the, or the stronger benefits you get for each roll. Uh, the final one for DPS is you your power reverberates through the dark multiverse, providing a small chance to summon a dark robin in content. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get a clip of him uh, summoned. He doesn't do that much damage. If I'm going to be honest, uh, I don't have two ranks, obviously. I'm not sure if he does extra damage there, but he was only doing like six or 700k hit. His big hits are doing like two or 3k damage. So it's well less than like robot sidekick, much less than a pet damage. Uh, so it's, it's underwhelming, but once again, it, it could be better with two ranks. In terms of the tanking one, uh, you have a chance to so it's same thing. It's, it's all the dark robins. So dark robin for tank, dark robin for healer. So it's just you're gonna you're gonna have a whole bunch of you're gonna have eight dark robins helping you attack and having them increase damage at the uh, the augment rank. So it's it's not like the past DLCs where the the top rank was actually really amazing. Like it reduced the 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 dot and SG or reduced the the slam damage from the um, I forget his name, in Atlantis, the Sea Beast. The Sea Beast lands, so those ones had much better effects at that max rank. Now they've kind of scaled back a bit on that, so now it's much better to have the third tier rather than maxing out to fourth right away because you're just getting a, like a little sidekick, basically. So in terms of the other augments, now the max is 247. So if I go down here, so basically the max 247 is now 1.716 million. So 1,716,260 experience. That's how much it takes to get to the highest rank for your augments, uh, your base ones for 247. And same thing, it's uh, all the might ones, you saw the stats, tank ones, etc. It's all gonna be uh, 247 is now that highest one. So remember each time a DLC comes out, those ones increase just like your skill point trees. So just make uh, pay attention that uh, you want to have those augment increases for those extra base stats. Okay, so we just saw Dark Robin spawn there. You can kind of see his damage there, like 41s, 400s, 406, 418. And then he's gone. So obviously not really substantial damage. I guess we'll see once happens when we get two ranks, but right now uh, it's nothing to worry about maxing out uh, your augments for. So I guess we'll see how that turns out. So in terms of the weekly missions uh, from my first video, there have been some changes. So we can kind of jump to this here. Let's pick up the Rift it weekly. And go over here to Killer Croc and get the Kill Counter one. So if we go to those now, uh, Rift it up is... Uh, Whatever, we'll do the massacre. So it's 218. So I think it was like 363. I know it was over 300 enemies. Now there's only now you have to kill 218, so they lowered that counter. And then uh, let's just do this one. Because this one was like 144. Now it's 82. So from 144 to 82 and 300 something, I'd have to check my other video, uh, down to uh, 218. So not uh, not too bad, considering you, you're going to be in large groups anyway when you're doing this, just like the normal weekly missions, but they did lower the counters on both those. So that's just for something for you to know. Okay, okay, so in terms of the generator mods, we have an example here. So basically, this will be uh, the 34 ones that we have right now, the ones that we're used to. So Might's like 517, 1293 Health, 258 Dom, uh, Prec is 323, Resto 258, 161, that's what we're used to right now. Actually, I think I need to consume one. And toss that. And these are the new ones. So 297, 1486, up from 1293, so it's still a good jump. So uh, 517 to 594, I forget what the power was. Um, was that three? Was it 323 or 363 to 371? 
or was 353 can't remember exactly 297 resto 185 bit you could just go back in the video if you wanted so we'll just take another dom and same thing once you get them not uh, maxed out some might 594 594 954 all your health mods and then dom as you go or resto depending on what you are and then we can kind of hop up here for r d so R&D, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a lot of these because I just had super ridiculously bad luck. Uh, personal dampening field, I'll have a separate testing for that done as well. It's about a 41k shield if you use this. Doesn't matter if you're a tank, doesn't matter your stats because it's, it's fixed damage. So it's about 41k. Uh, explosive, the nitro is 1,189 might. The energy is 4,460 power. The Vit Cola is 371, and then Daisy and Crown Genetic. These don't change that much at all. So I don't have the Flex one. I don't have the Nutri one, uh, unfortunately, to show you guys. But you just have to assume that uh, the stats is a, a fairly you know nice increase as well. Okay, so one uh, housekeeping item: if you go to your base generator mod and get the uh, the helmet capsule, right now they've added. Supercharged Neo Venom Boost 3. Uh, so that we've never had a Neo Venom artifact before for the supercharge. They added this in this DLC. So if you do use Neo Venom Boost in your rotation at all, make sure you pick up this head mod uh, because you can actually get some supercharge return on it now. Uh, so that's the uh, nice introduction with this DLC. If you haven't been paying attention to the forms and you would have known this, uh, that's why I told you here.